Before watching episode 3 of Jujutsu Kaisen, I wanted to watch a recap as someone told me to refresh my memory as I don't know what the hell is happening. Which is true, it's been a very long time since I watched it. So we're going to watch that within 7 minutes. I supposedly. know you guys are hyped to see the new season of Jujutsu Kaisen, so we prepared a complete recap just for you. Let's get into it. The season begins by introducing Yuji Itadori, a physically OP high school student whose dying grandpa tells him to use his strength to help others. Megumi Fushiguro, a student from TMMTC, is tasked with finding a cursed finger belonging to Sukuna, a powerful- Yeah, yeah, of course, and he ate it. He's trying to find- I forgot how many fingers, I'm guessing 10, but eating the fingers- Got Sukuno or whatever his name is inside his body. All that, all that crap. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Curse. Megumi tracks Yuji down as curses attack Yuji's friends. Megumi fights and is overwhelmed, forcing Yuji to eat the finger and save everyone. He is possessed by. Which, when I saw that, makes no sense. Like, why the fuck do you eat the finger? <laughs> like, no, that's not a good enough explanation to eat a finger. The murder is Sukuna, but manages to suppress him. Megumi's teacher, Satoru Gojo, arrives and subdues Sukuna. Gojo knocks him out, but Megumi wants to spare Yuji. Gojo explains that the Jujutsu elders want Yuji executed, but he was able to convince them to let Yuji swallow all of Sukuna's remaining fingers so that Sukuna would be killed along with him. Yuji agrees to be the vessel, huh. eats another finger, and is- well, I remember that. The whole point is to kill him, which means he's gonna die at the end. Interesting. Out to Tokyo Tech for training. Nobara Kugisaki joins the squad and Gojo brings them to a site occupied by curses as a field test. A little boy is held hostage and Nobara surrenders in an attempt to save him. Yuji rescues her and she finishes off the curse. A month later, the squad is sent to exercise a cursed womb at a detention center. The assistant director puts a up a veil womb? to conceal I them. I remember it was that, but I remember them going to the school. Ordinary citizens while they investigate. The trio sees that the prison has changed into an infinite chaos. School? I thought of the damn school. <laughs> Chaotic wasteland, and the inmates have been murdered. Yuji's hand is torn off by a special grade, so he decides to unleash Sukuna once Megumi rescues Nobara. After the two escape, Sukuna takes over and regenerates Yuji's limbs before easily defeating the special grade. Then he take over for too long and beat the shit out of Megumi or whatever. Taking one of Sukuna's fingers that was powering it. Sukuna holds Yuji hostage by ripping yeah. his heart out so that if they switch back, Yuji would die. Megumi fights Sukuna but is overpowered. Yuji emerges but dies from blood loss. While it <laughs> Yo, that's fucking crazy how you just take his damn body and just break the laws of everything. Literally everything. I find that insane. In morning, Megumi and Nobara meet second years Maki, Toge, and Panda, who tell right, the second years or third years or whatever. Tell them about the Kyoto Sister School exchange event. Meanwhile, cursed spirits Dagon, Jogo, and Hanami, which is we're seeing this dude at the bottom left right now in episode two, right? Episode one and two in the past, which means he is obviously evil, but he was good at some point which i didn't know meet with ghetto a human plotting to trap gojo and get yuji on their side while his body is examined yuji wakes up in sukuna's domain megumi and nobara train with the second I see. i'm not gonna question it am i years to get ready nope. for the tournament in exchange for his heart sukuna tricks yuji into making a deal that allows him to take over at any time yuji awakens and gojo holds off on reporting the resuscitation he begins training yuji to manage his cursed energy Gets all right, right 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 this is when he got that punch he wanted that punch thing. Yeah, I remember that much. Tells Jogo to kill Gojo, and he is ambushed on the road. Jogo fails to kill Gojo, who picks up Yuji mid-fight. Uh, I get his a recap in seven minutes, but this fight was insane. I remember that much. Oh, the first time we saw his red and blue shit. That shit was cool as hell. And warps back in seconds to teach Yuji about domain expansions. Gojo's domain expansion oh, oh, destroys I know, I thought it skipped. I, I thought Jogo's, it skipped. trapping him in infinity before decapitating him. Hanami then rescues Jogo before he can be questioned. The cursed spirits meet up with the newly born Mahito among them. Nobara and Megumi meet the Kyoto students they will be- And this dude, <laughs> all he care about is what type of women you like. I remember him too. I remember the girl very much. Oh, the sister of the sword girl, I, I think? competing against second year mai maki's twin sister and third year Total. right total ha. folds megami and maki reveals that she cannot use cursed energy mm -hmm. gojo okay. accuses kyoto's principal of sending the first years to their deaths against the cursed womb a month later mahito kills three high school bullies at a movie theater he is confronted by oh, right and they basically was like taking not taking care but basically like taking care of this kid making him on her side and then he like somewhat gets killed by the guy i remember them i remember them he turns him into like a curse? I remember he, whatever he touches can turn into curses or something like that, which is really interesting. But I think 
That's what happened. Junpei, who can see him and wants to be taught to use cursed energy. Yuji and Nanami investigate and encounter two cursed spirits. During the fight, Yuji reveals his cursed technique, which amplifies his power. Nanami deduces that the curses they're fighting are actually transfigured humans. Nanami sends Yuji to investigate Junpei while he goes to Mahito. Junpei is about to kill his teacher when Yuji interrupts. Nanami confronts Mahito in the sewers. During their battle, Nanami realizes that the transfigured humans Mahito makes are actually still alive, self-aware and suffering. Oh, Nanami's shit. work hours hit overtime, and he begins to use his full power to fight. Nanami emerges victorious, but leaves Mahito alive. Yuji bonds with- Why? Like, I know it's gonna be a problem later. Why did you do what? Why? Junpei over a shared love of movies. Junpei's mother is killed overnight when one of Sukuna's fingers, planted by Geto, attracts cursed spirits. Mahito convinces Junpei hmm. that one of his bullies did this, planning to lure in Yuji. Junpei tries to kill his bully and fights Yuji using a Shikigami that poisons whoever it touches. Yuji tries to convince Junpei to come to Jujutsu High, but Mahito appears and turns him into a disfigured monster. Junpei dies. That shit was so fucked up. I was so mad. Like, I get the villain is supposed to be bad, obviously. That hurt. I'll be honest, that hurt. Eyes and Yuji rushes Mahito. His punches reach Mahito's body and soul, causing the cursed spirit to bleed. Mahito tries to transfigure Yuji's body, but is overpowered by Sukuna. Nanami and Yuji double team Mahito, who releases his domain expansion and traps Nanami inside. Yuji breaks through the domain and Mahito accidentally touches Sukuna's soul a second time, who punishes him by leaving him gravely injured. Mahito. <laughs> God damn. Suk I like how Sukuna is just sitting there like. Or I guess in this case. I find that Escapes. awesome. Geto declares that they will ambush Tokyo Tech. The Kyoto class arrives for the event, and Yuji comes back from the dead. The first round of the event is a competition between the two schools. The Kyoto students, on orders of the Kyoto principal, plot to kill Yuji. Gojo reveals that he suspects a traitor is in Tokyo Tech's midst. The Kyoto students begin their ambush on Yuji, but Tokyo Tech splits them up to even the odds. Yuji mm -hmm. finds himself fist fighting Toto, who wishes to be friends. Megumi is attacked by Noritoshi, while Kasumi faces off against Maki. Yuji receives lessons from Toto about using cursed energy. Panda begins fighting Mekamaru, who reveals he's controlling the robot from afar. His true body is extremely ill and is unable to function. Panda's gorilla personality emerges victorious in their battle. Maki incapacitates Kasumi, and Nobara fights Momo. But just as she's about to win, she is knocked out by Mai's revolver. Maki then faces off with her sister. As Mai tries to use her technique, Maki catches it with her bare hand, revealing that though she has no cursed energy, she's just better. She she's has built different. That girl trained. She's like, he reminds me of Guy, Guy Sensei or whatever. Like from Naruto. Super Strong as hell with no power. No plot armor, none of that, just strong. Human strength. Kasumi is eliminated after Toge calls her and commands her to sleep. Toge is then disturbed by Hanami. He flees and interrupts Megumi's battle, commanding them to run, but Hanami blocks them from the exit. Oh, that kid, bro, I love his fucking power. The fact that he can just talk. Strength. Kasumi is eliminated after Toge calls her and- Yeah, that, that power is so fucking cool to me, I love it. I remember seeing the movie, what was his name, Yuji? Yuji? I don't know his name, but he copied a power. It actually was so cool. Give me chills. To Toge is then disturbed by Hanami. He flees and interrupts Megumi's battle, commanding them to run, but Hanami blocks them from the exit. A large barrier is placed over the area, which is only meant to stop Gojo from interfering. Hanami shrugs off everyone's attacks. Just as she is about to strangle Maki to death, Yuji and Toto jump in the fight, while Panda and Momo evacuate the wounded. Yuji then reveals the black flash technique he learned from Toto. Toto reveals his own technique, the ability to swap any two people or objects with cursed energy, and uses it in tandem with Yuji's black flash to beat up Hanami. Hanami prepared- Oh right, they kicked his damn ass bro, I remember seeing that, best, best teammates ever, or best teamwork ever. She was awesome. ...to unleash her own domain expansion, when Gojo dispels the veil over the battlefield. After bodying Juzo, another attacker, Gojo unleashes hollow purple at Hanami, destroying half the forest. Hanami manages to barely survive Gojo's attack. Mahito reveals the invasion was a ruse. Okay. ...to draw Gojo's attention away from the high school, where he stole six fingers and three special grade cursed wounds. Geto alludes to his Shibuya plan on October 31st, warning that they must focus on sealing Gojo away. Gojo then continues the exchange event with a baseball game. After some time, the squad is sent out to investigate mysterious deaths connected to Megumi's middle school. At Yasuhachi Bridge, they discover the deaths were caused by a curse, which Megumi's stepsister, still in a coma, is a victim of. Two new curses appear and draw Yuji and Nobara away from- Oh, right. The two- I remember this. The two brothers, and this was the first time I saw her- Yu not first time. I think it was the first time, actually, when we saw her, um, 
use her nail power or whatever on the battlefield leaving megami to face off against a special grade and he used his domain expansion i remember that under duress he manages to unleash his domain expansion mm -hmm, after mm -hmm. defeating the curse Megami obtains Sukuna's finger. Yuji and Nobara are infected by the Cursed Brothers' decay technique, which rots their bodies. Nobara turns the tables and kills them both, with Yuji. They find Megami asleep with Sukuna's finger, which Yuji promptly eats. Two days later, Gojo pays Meimei to investigate the traitor in the school. The season ends with Toto and Meimei recommending the Tokyo Tech students to be classified as Grade 1 Sorcerers. Now you guys are fully equipped to enjoy the second season. Make sure to- I feel like I'm missing something. So I watched all of that, and now in the movie, Right, and I watched the movie. So I guess that's it. Basically, yeah. Let's go. Like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video.